Hey y'all, I'm Edmund. And I'm Heather. And this is All Positive Reviews. So here we are at the end of M. Night Shyamalan month slash week, and we have the last and most recent of M. Night Shyamalan's movies, Glass. A lot of people are going to die. Don't do this. Are you ready? What do we call you, sir? First name, Mr. Last name. So named because you had Unbreakable, which was Bruce Willis, because mm. he literally couldn't be broken. Right. Uh, unless you just add water. You have uh, Split James McAvoy, because he's literally... Split into a million personalities. And now Glass, because it is focused, at least partially, on Samuel L. Jackson's character from Unbreakable, Elijah Glass. Now, if you saw our Unbreakable All Positive review, and if you haven't, it's down below. This uh, Glass is a culmination of Unbreakable and Split together, so all yes. those characters. David Dunn, the, the overseer now, uh, is his superhero name, faces off against the Horde, and all manner of hell breaks loose. Right off the bat, love the continuity with this. Like, you have his actual, the same actor who played his son yeah. is now in here in a sizable part. Yeah. Like, kind of as the, you know, as the man in the chair to his, you know, Batman. And you also have the mother. Yes, uh, Samuel L. Jackson's yeah. mom. I, I, I absolutely love that. It really makes it look like whether it was or was not meant to be originally, it, it fits so well. Yes, absolutely. It feels, it does feel like a pretty good, like, culmination yeah. of all of that because you had it was always a grounded superhero universe and so this is like a much smaller scale one like honestly this movie is proof that they should have gotten M. Night Shyamalan to do a Batman movie yeah that would have been really good because a lot of the things that I like about this movie could apply to a Batman movie like right down to the point that you have you know the horde mm -hmm. James McAvoy once yeah. again just getting a chance to kill it Mm -hmm. With more personalities get to, you know, getting the chance yeah. to go this time. Oh, do you know, I am tired of being sorry. You can call me Norma. I am sorry about the whole lying thing, though. I'm oh, not just lying. stop talking. God, I'm so amped. We almost got you, bro. <laughs> Trying to keep him here with this light thing? That's some buttery shit. Stop talking. Although we have all of our favorites, like Hedwig. And... Oh, yeah. Hedwig and Patricia. He has a he has a girlfriend now. <laughs> you like Kevin too? You know he plays almost like uh, one of those like psychological Batman villains where he's all like I'm I'm about killing off the unbroken yes. the people who haven't suffered and the person he's pitted against Bruce Willis is someone who can't be broken right physically so it is an interesting you know unstoppable force meets an immovable object. I, I know, I will. like that part where, you know, he picks him up and he's got him. Oh, and, and the, the bear other hug one, of he, death. Yeah, and, and the other one he bear hugs, and it's just like crushing, 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 and the guy just, you know, is gone. But with Bruce Willis, he's just like, uh, this isn't working, <laughs> what's going on? Yep, speaking of Bruce Willis, he's back. Of course. As David Dunn. And it is it is fun to watch him pick up that part, because one of the best things of about Unbreakable was his performance yeah. in there. And it is fun to see, like, what he's been doing with it. And to see, although it's sad, but it's, like, it was a good continuation of his story. But, you know, Bruce Willis isn't in happy marriages. And That's it's true. it's good to That's see true. that he was, but the reason that his wife isn't there is much more of just a... You know, life. life. Yeah. You have, uh, you also have, um, speaking of like a kind of nice, like, checkpoint note for someone, uh, Anya Taylor Joy Claire, the, yeah. the final girl from Split. Right. Who, you know, at the end of that movie, we were all like, oh God, you're not sending her back to her abusive parents, their abusive uncle, are you? Right. And, and you have that moment where they're like, your foster parents just like, called. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Thank God. Good job. <laughs> but she comes in and actually is kind of the sort of heart of the movie, like mm -hmm. her and uh, James McAvoy's character, Kevin. Right. Um, because she's the only one who can kind of reach him. Well, and I feel like, so she's in this thing because of her creepy uncle. 
where she's trapped in this. And I feel like she feels like David and Hedwig are trapped, like she was trapped. So she's trying to get them out. Yes. You know, who cares about the others? She's trying to save them. Yeah, because it's not Kevin's fault. Right. And it's unintentionally hilarious, but it's great. It might be actually intentionally. But whenever they pull Kevin out, he's just like, wait, what? Like, yeah. where was What's I? was going on a on? bus. I don't want to be here. And then the other person you have coming back, of course, is Samuel L. Jackson. Right. Who pulls several hoodwinks in this movie, several upon several shenanigans. Probably his best shenanigan is that actually they keep him kind of downplayed for the first half of the movie and he's just acting with his eyes the whole yeah. time and you have every reason to believe like oh they're they're treating him like a threat they're drugging him and everything and right. he looks it oh definitely but you can still see just the machinations going on behind right. his eyes no every once in a while you see this glimmer of like fuck you in his eyes yep and honestly that's where the movie really shines is when you have those three characters come together specifically samuel jackson and james mcavoy yeah because yeah it is like it is a simple thing to get excited about because it is like it is a simple movie it's more like just kind of down to earth like real superhero thing but it is exciting to see the villains team up and actually yeah. you do you do like them and his conversations actually bring out a number of cool dimensions with james mcavoy yeah like you actually slightly feel bad for patricia for a second <laughs> everything we will see and do will have a basis in science but it will have limits this is the real world not a cartoon and yet some of us don't die from bullets some of us can still bend steel. That is not a fantasy. Hmm. I really like also the relationship between Bruce Willis and his son. Yes. In it, it, it definitely feels like they have been doing this forever. They've got it down. I, I really like just the way that relationship, like the, the relationships in this movie are really good. That's mm -hmm. one thing he does very well though is relationships. Anytime you watch one of his movies, whatever else about the movie, the relationships are always really good. Yes. No, I totally agree. And another thing with his movies is that he knows how to work around a budget. Yeah. When again, he doesn't yeah. have one. And it was twenty million, you know, and most big superhero movies now at mm -hmm. the very least cost five times that. Right. And you know, you you always know you're watching a lower budget movie, but he finds creative ways around it. Like he's paired up with that same cinematographer from mm -hmm. Split who shot the hell out of two locations yeah. to make it threatening. And they do a lot of good work. Like especially in the asylum that they're in itself, it just pops. Like yeah. you don't think pink when you when you see a, a place like that, you know, when you think like an Arkham type place. But no, it, it does really like pop. There's a nice yeah. look to it. And actually, that's the other good thing is Sarah Paulson oh, as the psychiatrist. She's great. And I love who she is. And I love what she's doing. Mm -hmm. And I love the reason why. Because I'm always referring to Endgame. But anyways, in the Avengers films, they even say, you know, one creates another, creates another. And this is basically what this is saying. And that's what she's trying to stop. Yeah. She's just like, you know what? If you're here, that means he's here. That means someone else is going to show up and someone else. And it's just better to put an end to all of you. And she has a fun time just picking them apart. Oh, yes. And turning them on each other. Like, What's your point, Doctor? It was a practical observation that produced a practical skill set in an altar. Mm. Then how did he bend the bars? The iron bars at the zoo? You did see those, didn't you? That's not in our heads. The cages beneath the zoo were made in 1874 when the zoo first opened. I was able to bend them by putting a wrench between them and leaning back. Difficult again, but possible. <laughs> Are you superhuman or is that just explained? Like I, I love no. when she's trying to mess with the kid and it's sad because she does, but she's so good at it. It's fun to watch when she's just like, mm, you know, it seemed like you would need your dad to be a hero yeah. because of, you know, what you've been through and, you know, all the stuff. And she's just so, so good at like, that emotional that I 
playing it. It's wonderful, though. It's it's fun to watch. No, it, it absolutely is. It's yeah. a it's a fun to watch. It's it's a fun to watch little thing overall. Like if you were a fan of Unbreakable and you are a fan of Split, it is fun to watch all these characters, yeah. you know, come together. And you know, you aren't going to see superhero trilogies really that are entirely original to the screen. Like yeah. they're not based off of anything. Yeah. They're deconstructions, yeah, but they're not based off of anything. And that are all done by the same person and the mm -hmm. same like creative team basically. Yeah. I think the only person not on there is James Newton Howard for the score, but you have I don't remember his name, but it's it's a pretty capable score. But yeah, overall it's like it's it's pretty solid. But uh that's it here for M Night Shyamalan months last yeah. week. It's been fun. But more things. <laughs> More things coming up here soon on all positive reviews. We'll have TV like Mad Men and Handmaid's Tale and Sex in the City. You can connect the dots on how those are related. We have lots of movies, classic and new, mm -hmm. coming at you from Shawshank Redemption to Dark Knight and everything outside and in between, as well as any of your suggestions that you'd like to leave below in the comments. But until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay positive. Thanks.